Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is Daniel Rosal here. So today is the first day of Hanukkah, both here in Israel and around the Jewish world. And of course, Hanukkah is both known as the Festival of Lights, and it's also traditionally associated with eating fried foods, including both latkes and other fried foods. Now, anyone who's been following this channel knows a few weeks ago, I started moving towards a low fat diet because I had my gallbladder removed two years ago and I've been having a lot of trouble with my digestion ever since. And the low fat diet, has been the best thing I've discovered in that respect in two years. I'm feeling a ton better. So what I did, I actually went ahead and bought a uh, Ninja Max air fryer. I'm gonna just try swivel the camera around here. Uh, I picked this guy up on a Friday just before Shabbat here. And it's a big old chunky device. It really takes up a ton of uh, counter space here. So much so that there's no room for the air fryer. But uh, this is it. It's a really beefy one. Got this in Max and Hashmal. And I decided we're going to a Hanukkah party tonight. So I thought I'd look up air fryer locker recipes and came across this one from Kitchen. Uh, so basically what is required now, how good am I at cooking? On a scale of one to 10, I'm probably about one. Uh, so it's not my specialty, but you know what? I'm gonna give this a shot. So ingredients here, have matzah meal in stock. So I'm gonna throw in some flour and hope it all works. Hey, you know, hopefully it'll work. It says, firstly, ingredients are uh, one and a half pound of rusted potatoes, which it says are, that's two to three potatoes. Uh, half a medium yellow onion, two large eggs, two teaspoons of kosher salt, half a teaspoon of freshly ground black pepper, some cooking spray, which I definitely have. I'm not gonna do the uh, accoutrements, the sour cream and applesauce. Grate the potatoes and the onion, put them on a kitchen towel, pull up the sides. Okay, getting out the moisture. Transfer the potato mixture into a large bowl. Then you throw in the eggs and the matzo meal and the kosher salt and the black pepper. Then you put your um, air fryer up to 375 degrees Fahrenheit and set, set it to a cooking time of 16 minutes. Drop the latke mixture in two tablespoon dollops into the air fryer, flattening the top to make a patty. Spray the top and then halfway through you flip, so eight minutes on each side. And uh, that's it, that's the recipe. So I'm gonna give this a shot now. I've got my three potatoes, I've got my grater, I've got a uh, potato scrubber, I've got my onion, I've got a knife, and I've got a mixing bowl uh, to put all this into. I'm just gonna go and as the recipe says, just uh, start grating this into our mixing bowl. This is probably gonna take a while. Okay, this is the uh, three potatoes grated. Quite a, quite a bicep workout, I must say. So the half of an onion has been grated there on top of the tomato. And now we go and uh, mix this all together in this bowl. And we're bringing out a uh, colander. I have an assistant now helping me. Uh, we're just putting this in and just gonna use, drain it out uh, in this way dump the drained, you can see how much less liquids in that, the drained uh, potato and onion mixture into this mixing bowl. I'm gonna mix in now the rest of the ingredients. Okay, going firstly with my two eggs. Egg one. Egg two. Okay, so as I mentioned, the recipe called for matzo meal. Unfortunately, we don't have any in stock and we need to leave for this party in about uh, 20 minutes. So what I'm gonna do instead is just put in some white flour. This is half a cup measuring spoon. I've just filled it up about halfway to attempt to get a quarter. Coming in with the two teaspoons of uh, kosher salt this recipe calls for. I'm just gonna use pre-ground black pepper here and I'm gonna just kind of go conservatively. Okay, so the recipe says to preheat the air fryer up to 375 degrees Fahrenheit, which is 190 in Celsius. So just time is supposed to be set for 16 minutes. Okay, so just pulled out the air fryer baskets and uh, rolling up these uh, patties with my hands. And then it says to just spray them on top. So I'm just gonna position them with a good deal of space uh, between each one, because as I'm, that's everything I've read about the air fryer so far, is you wanna really, you don't wanna overcrowd the things in the air fryer to make sure that everything is spaced out well. Speaking of low fat diet, I must say, as inconvenient as it is to be preparing stuff like this at home, it's gonna get me a lot more time in the kitchen. Um, I have found it really makes a big difference. I need to be pretty diligent as well in terms of uh, keeping to it. For one, two, three, four, and five, they're pretty much evenly spaced there. I think that's about as many as I'm gonna get in. So I'm just gonna pop in the container now. So I have my five potato latkes sitting in my basket, first ever latke making attempt. And now I'm just whipping out the old uh, canola oil spray oil. I'm gonna just give these guys a little uh, spray on the top. I don't know if that is way too much or just enough. 
Uh, so we're giving them one spray, and they go to Mr. Air Fryer. Twenty, one ninety. Okay, so we're underway officially. Okay, so the cooking time is just past eight minutes, and as I put it on for twenty, that means eight minutes have elapsed in the cooking cycle. So I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, take these right out. They smell really, really good, and they're looking kind of like esque, I must say. So uh, that's decent so far. Now I'm gonna just flip them and put them on the other side. All right, so just taking a uh, spatula now and rolling them over. I'm gonna just give them a a uh, quick dab of spray oil. They're kind of clinging together a little bit, but not too much. Uh, they obviously don't look the same as latkes as they come out of a frying pan, but on the plus side, they are not neither shallow fried nor deep fried. They are air fried. Something we've come to realize um, in the kind of few times we've used our air fryer since we got it, is that all the recipes seem to call for cooking spray oil. I don't know if it's almost out to keep, to kind of cover themselves in case stuff really sticks. Um, we found with the Korean fried chicken that the batch that was totally air fried and the ones that had spray oil, they were basically indistinguishable. I've done a separate video just showing these things. These are called gastronome pans. They're also known as chef pans or a GN pans. And this is specifically a quarter inch GN pan. And I've made a video about them. I think they're absolutely amazing. They're so versatile for food storage. They can be heated, they can be put into a freezer. So um, I'm gonna put all my batches and just layer them up inside of this. And I'm two minutes early at six minutes left to run on the air fryer timer. And uh, those look totally cooked to me, at least on this side, they're actually, if they cook much longer, I think they're gonna get overcooked and burned. And you can just see the color of the latkes is looking good. It's looking good on that side. It's looking good on this side and they look pretty decent to me. So I'm just gonna go ahead now and uh, as I said, load these guys up into a gastronome pan and they're going to be served alongside a not specifically low fat applesauce and the other traditional serving. So the only negative thing, and this is kind of obvious, but I'll just say it anyway. So the negative is that, you know, I'm gonna to have to do this in batches. And so that was 14 minutes. That would be actually seven minutes per side. On my setting here on my air fryer, that was enough. Uh, so that's gonna be another 14 minutes to cook another batch and another 20 minutes for you know half an hour essentially to go through two more batches. So it's kind of a slow cooking method. The tedious part is you're gonna have to flip it halfway through and change out the batches. So I just pulled one of my lockers out of the air fryer. So these are really crunchy. And um, whoa, I would have absolutely no idea that they're, these are these were air fried or not you know conventionally fried. Um, Crispy and they taste just like lockers, so that's good enough for me. And what I'm doing differently for batch number two is I've actually not used any spray oil whatsoever, so I'm just gonna see how differently these guys uh, turn out. Okay, I just finished my uh, propaganda label so that nobody mistakes me for uh, somebody sane, and we're about to uh, bounce with these low fat lockers, these air fryer lockers in hand to show people that you don't need a big tub of fat to cook great tasting food.